You see masking tape, but I see a ruler, a clamp, and a stencil. Let me show you the three best masking tape hacks right now. Hack number one. We're looking at the stencil. Check this out. So I have masking tape right across this board here. Now, the key that I find, especially if you're doing painting on the walls, is the exact same thing. You gotta layer it just by an eighth or so. And the key when you're finished, press it down as hard as you can. Press, press, press. Because we don't want paint to seep underneath. My favorite thing to do is use my thumbnail and I press down extremely hard. So now, I've got this masking area here that'll act perfectly as a stencil. All I need to do is cut out my pattern. Double press on all the edges again. And we just simply spray. We simply grab the top and we peel down. And as we peel down, it should hopefully catch all those other pieces. And again, by pressing super hard, you'll notice I don't have any bleeds. Check it out. S masking tape. That's all stencils ever are. Hack number two. Well, heck, I always want to have a beautiful picture of my son hanging up everywhere. So let me show you how the best way this turns into a measuring device so you don't have to pull out your measuring tape anymore. On the back of a picture frame, you'll notice they generally come with two hanging hooks. A lot of people have trouble measuring where should I put the screws. Well, let me just show you something here. If I put a piece of tape across and I press on it, you can see it reveals the actual hanging hooks. Now all I need to do is come in with a pen, color it in, following the profile of what the shape is, peel that tape up, and then I simply transfer it to the wall. So now in the workshop, all I have to do is put this tape up there. I can put two straight lines on the wall, and that'll allow me to have a perfect indicator of where I need to put the hooks. I simply mark the lines. Now, I can remove that tape, hold my level up to it, to wherever those lines are. I then just take my pen, put a little cross here at the top, drive in two screws. Voila. Now, I got my son staring at me every day. Now it's time for hack number three. That is the clamp. How do I make it as a clamp? Check this out. These are beveled corners with a mitered edge. You can see if it went over like that, it would glue up nice and tight, making a perfect box. The problem is, how do you get these to hold together? Well, this is how masking tape comes in. Take all your pieces so that they're aligned properly. Now with all your seams lined up, this is where masking tape comes into hand. First piece goes down and you've got to press it. I always use my fingernail, thumbnail, press it down as hard as you can. Same thing. Press it down as hard as I can. Flip it over. You'll notice it's pretty strong and it holds together without falling over. The slow process of drying glue. And of course, the end joint. Simply fold it up. Stand it up on this flat edge and make sure your miter is tight. With the last one being in place, I take my tape and I peel it and I put a couple pieces on the end. So I grab it, tape one side on both pieces and then this one here, I just press it and hold it and then fold the tape over. Press it and hold it, fold the tape over. Now we have the perfect clamp for a mitered box. It's awesome. Masking tape is a clamp. It is a measuring tool, and of course, it is the best stencil. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say.